it's scrapbooking made simple with another YouTube mini class for you. Woo! We are on YouTube number 94 and we are only six YouTubes away from 100. Yay! I was thinking last night that at 100 TV shows that means you go to syndication. So does this mean I go to syndication? <laughs> if you're HGTV out there, hello! Oprah, hello! <laughs> So anyway, I don't know why that came to my mind last night. I just remember TV shows celebrating that they hit 100 episodes because then they could go into syndication. But anyway, we have got a lot planned for you. We have got a two for today. We've got Stampendous. We've got exclusive product from Stampendous and we've got their stacked art product. Now, it's going to be a full YouTube, so I'm not going to talk too much and I'm going to get going. So winner, winner, chicken dinner is what we're going to start with. Do you want to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner? If you want to win something from our YouTube contests, all you have to do is post a comment after you're done watching this YouTube and you'll go into the drawing. We have a random picker pick and you could be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. But I do have two winners right now. And are you ready? If you are Noelle Herzig. Noel Herzig, you are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And what did you win? You won Diversions and you won some of the Whirlwind Smooth and Silky exclusive card pa packs of paper only at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Do you know who else won some of that goodness? Are you ready? Are you listening? June Christie! Yay, June! You too are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, these two great gals got to be winners because they posted a comment on our last YouTube and our random picker picked their name. So, Noelle and June, how are you going to claim your prize? You're going to email us at asksms at earthlink.net and you're going to put in the subject line, Naomi, I'm a winner, winner, chicken dinner from YouTube number 94. Woo! And then in the body of the email, give us your name, your address, and if you don't mind your telephone number, just in case there's any hiccups. And Naomi will get those prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. We're so excited for you. You're going to love it. <laughs> now, we've got winner, winner, chicken dinner for this YouTube, but you have to post your comment once you're done. And to do that, you have to be a subscriber on YouTube. And it's free and it's simple. Just subscribe, get a username, Subscribe to our channel, post your comment, and you too could be winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so I've got that done. We've got Sizzix Super Savers that are almost over. Sizzix Super Savers. We've got the bundles, just a few bundles left. The I Want It All, that's at 60% off. If you were to go and look at Sizzix.com right now for this die set, you would find it at $19.99. We have it for 60% off if you buy it in the bundle. If you buy open stock, it's all 50% off. But you know the Sizzix Super Savers are only good until the 15th, and then they're gone forever. No more deal on that die. So get your orders in, and like we did in February, once all the Sizzix Super Saver orders are in, we're going to pull them out, and we're going to ship them right away because the bundles are already made. They're already good to go. The dies are already here. So we're going to pull them. We're going to get them to you just as quickly as possible, and that's going to hold true for this product today that we're using. Once this YouTube Yummy is over in about 10 days, we will pull the orders and we will start shipping those YouTube Yummy sales immediately because we have the exclusive dies here. We've got the stacked art here. Stampendous got it all to us early, so we we don't have to wait for anything. I'm very excited. All right, I think we are going to start for today. Oh, quickly, I did, I cut my hair. So I went a little bit shorter. I like shorter, I'm happy with it. And also today is March 11th, so tomorrow's March 12th. Happy birthday, Michael, my husband. Happy birthday, I love you. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna tell everybody how old you are. <laughs> That's a good wife. <laughs> All right, I love you, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to tilt on down and we're going to get started for today, okay? Bye! Down we go. All right, so today we're going to start with the exclusive dies from Stampendous. Now, this is the card we did in the make and take last week, and the die and the stamp are the, the flower here, and you can see we did a three-dimensional, and I want to show you quickly how to use these because then I want to move on to stacked art, but I do want you to see how beautiful the three different sets are, and yes, for the next month, you can only get them at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and yes, once this YouTube Yummy sale is over, if you've ordered them, we're going to pull your order right away and ship it to you right away because everything is already sitting here in stock. Woo! Very excited about that one. Now, there are... 
three different sets. Let me find them real quick. I have got so many samples to show you. The samples have taken over everything. There are three different sets that we have. The first set, is, here's the die, and that's what we used here in this one. It's this die set here. And it goes with, it goes with, where's the, oh, let's just pull one right off the rack, shall we? It goes with this stamp set. So here's the stamp that works with these dies, and then it has a beautiful face. And I'm gonna show you some samples with this face that's absolutely magnificent. Now, not only do you get the stamp and the die, but included with the stamp set is a mask or a template, just like they did before, where we took the mask and we were able to ink it, and there's a mask in here as well. So it's actually getting three things. You get the stamp, the mask, and the die. And they are, they are just beautiful. These are the first time, first time that Stampendous has ever done dies to match their stamps. And again, this is the set that we used for, for this card right here, for our make and take. All right, so that's number one. That's set number one. Then we have set number two, which is the hydrangea. And here is the die set as well. And again, there is a free template or a free mask in here so that you've got three things to work with because the mask, you can ink, you can um, chalk around. You, we, we did a whole YouTube on that. But this is the hydrangea set. And then I'm not 100% positive. They call this set Lovely Garden. So I don't know what the flowers actually are, but they are very, very lovely. So the three flowers, the three dyes, the butterfly, the leaf, everything coordinates. Easy peasy. So now that you've seen the three, let's actually use some of them. I'm gonna put those over there so I can see them. The dyes are wafer dyes, and that means that they are thin. They're not a thick dye, they're a thin dye, which means you can use them with almost every machine. We, of course, have the Sizzix Big Shot machine because it is the best machine on the market, and it will go all the dies go through it. I really, really love our Sizzix Big Shot machine. Now, these dies are very similar to the Sizzix dies, meaning what you see is what you cut. The cutting edge, there's this little ridge, is right on the inside of that die. Unlike a Spellbinder die or a Heartfelt Creation where the cutting edge is kind of centered between the two um, edges. So this is right on the edge. This is what you see is what you cut. And because they are wafer dies, Yes, that little edge cuts, but it doesn't cut you. <laughs> cuts through paper, cuts through foam, cuts through uh, some felt. There, there's some product that it won't cut through. Chipboard, not so much. But, um, but that ridge, you don't cut yourself. It makes these perfect for children to use because there's no edges in there at all for them to harm themselves. Now, the set that we're using, let me pull that back out again, comes with just one flower. But we did a dimensional flower. How did we do that? I'm gonna show you how to do that with just this one flower and these three dies. They made it so simple for you. I really, I love them to death. Okay, so I have got, oh, everybody's been asking, what is this craft mat here? This is by uh, Ranger, it's a Ranger product. It is the craft mat that we have here in the store and use all the time. It takes heat. It, it, you can wipe on it, it takes inks, you can use it as a palette, you can put a hot glue gun and have it melt and it'll just peel right up. But it's by Ranger and it's, I think, the Craft Essentials Craft Mat. I think it's $17.99. And then everybody also, if you don't know, this is our stamp pad. It actually comes huge and we have to cut it in half to ship it to you. But this is our stamp pad. When you're doing any kind of stamping, you absolutely want to be on a stamp pad to give some gush. You need the stamp to sink into to get a better bond between the stamp and the paper. Sometimes stamping on a hard surface you don't get any sink into so it doesn't give a really good, although don't do chest compressions, it doesn't give a really good bond. Now somebody asked about cleaning this. Yes you can clean this. See that dirt on there? That ink has been there for weeks and weeks and weeks. Take a baby wipe. Even though it's been there weeks and weeks and weeks. Just take a baby wipe and it'll clean right up. 
So if you need to clean your craft, uh, your stamp mat, no worries. If you've got ink on it, don't don't worry about it. Just take a simple baby wipe and clean it. Okay, good. All right. Well, I'm gonna get that one too, as long as I'm cleaning. All right. So let's get started. I have got my stamp, and I'm using a Tim Holtz grid block, and the Stampendous stamps are red rubber, or they're rubber, gray rubber, on a cling mount, and they've got the image on the other side, so you know what you're stamping. I'm going to put that right into my Tim Holtz grid block, and it clings. It's hold by, or held by static, not by sticky. So if you've never worked with cling stamps before, this isn't sticky. It's held by static. Now, for some reason, it stops clinging. Then you probably have a really dirty block like mine is. <laughs> you just need to clean your block and clean your stamp, let everything dry, and it should cling all back and be happy, happy, happy. So I have got my stamp here. The deal with this stamp is that you have to stamp it three times. So I'm going to get my piece of paper, and I have got my smooth and silky white paper, and I'm going to ink it up. Now, I'm using uh, stays on right now because in a minute I'm going to be doing shimmer sheets. So, yes, you can use your stays on on your regular paper, it's absolutely fine. But you also use your stays on for non porous items like shimmer sheets, like metal, like plastic, um, uh, acetate. So, I'm going to put that down there. And I'm just going to give a good all over pressure. I'm not going to do chest compressions. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to give good all over pressure. And pull up. One's done. I'm just going to continue and go straight down and get all three of them done. Move my stamp pad down a little bit, line it up, and down. Good all over pressure. Now the beauty of this product is because you're layering the flower, if you have a little oop somewhere, not a problem. You just keep stamping and go to your next one because chances are that little oops is going to get covered up by uh, a layer of flour. Let's do our very last one. So you can see that you can use your stays on with paper, absolutely. But the primary goal of stays on is for your non porous materials because it is one of the very, very few inks that will stay on non porous materials. Stays on is a permanent ink. So when you think of stays on, think of Sharpie markers. You write on plastic with Sharpies, you write on metal with Sharpies. That's what stays on was made to do. Okay, are we good? Great. So I have got my three stamped images. I've got three dies. I always use this little thing as my as my guide because it reminds me of like a bird. It looks kind of like a bird's head. This one is going to cut the full flower out. Then I have the next size down. Same thing, I have the little bird head, and that's just going to cut a portion of the flower. And then I have my very last piece, which is my smallest piece, and that's going to cut that center of the flower. I don't know if I can hold all of this, but. Probably not, but that's going to cut just that very last piece. Now, how do you cut them? Very simple. Hopefully, you have your Big Shot machine. Now, I think I'm going to use this one as my bottom piece right here. Hopefully, you have your Big Shot machine because I'm going to pull that on over. I'm going to move my stamp pad. I have got my magnetic platform. If you don't have a magnetic platform yet, you're going to want one. Anytime you're stamping and die cutting, the magnetic platform is absolutely awesome because it keeps everything where everything's supposed to be. I've got my cut plate on the bottom, and I have got my die here, 
and I'm just gonna line it on up. See how I've got that little bird's head? That's what I'm using as my guide. You might find something that's easier for you, but for me that was pretty simple. Line it on up, and it is what you see is what you cut. See, because it's magnetic, it doesn't move. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna put my plates in, put my top do not cut plate in, and send it on through. it out. One cut's done. Finished. Now I would continue with my next one. In fact, I can probably cut both of these at the exact same time. So I've cut these into two, although I might not have needed to. I'm going to put both of them on my platform. So I've got my magnetic platform, my clear plate. Now I'm going to grab my smallest one, put that there, line it on up. And because it's what you see is what you cut, it makes it very simple. If you see it, you know that's what you're going to get. If you see it through the die, that's, that's what you're going to get. And the magnetic platform just keeps absolutely everything in place. Put my top plate in and send it through. Now the magnetic platform does not work with a cuddle bug machine. I'm so sorry. It only works with the Sizzix Big Shot machine. And you don't want to have a pacemaker and use it. There is a, a warning about having a pacemaker and using a magnetic platform. Pop those off. And there are my three pieces to build my flower. Let's move this out of the way. One, two, three. You pop them up with some foam tape like we did here. Pop them up with some foam tape and you are good to go. Color them any way you want. Use color paper, use pattern paper. But one, two, three, out of stamping three times. That's how this stamp gets used. One stamp, stamp it three times and cut it three with the three different dies. And that will give you. Now the hydrangea and the, um, the other flower are different because the hydrangea you stamp the big one and cut the big one, and then you stamp as many of the little pieces as you want to fill in to three-dimensionalize your finished product. Same with the other. It's a little bit different because you get three different flowers and three different dyes. So I wanted to show this one because people had a hard time visualizing how they were going to make it uh, dimensional. And that's how you do it. You just stamp it three times and die cut. Now quickly I want to show you how to use the shimmer sheets because we've had a lot of questions about the shimmer sheets and this is one of the new colors of shimmer sheets. There's three new colors. I think this is white opal or Australian opal, something along that lines. Let's see if I can find it. Um, Australian opal is what this one's called and it's a new one. There's three new ones. Now I stamped on this with stays on. So I'm going to grab my stamp again and I'm going to grab my stays on. I'm going to ink up my stamp and because it stays on it's meant to go on non-porous materials which is exactly what a shimmer sheet is. It's mylar. It's like a, a, um, a foil but it doesn't dent and it holds embossing beautifully. If you use embossing folders, oh my gosh, the shimmer sheets are amazing. I'm just going to drop that right on there. Give a good press. Oh, stamp mat. Ooh, look at that, ha ha. <laughs> Give a good press. And pull. Now this is gonna need to dry for a minute. It's gonna need to dry, so I'm going to set it aside and I've got one that's already done. 
I'm going to pull my machine back over. And I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the biggest one. Pull my Big Shot machine back over, and I'm going to use the exact same sandwich I used before because I'm still working with wafer dies. Look at how it holds. <laughs> So I've got my magnetic platform down, my cut plate because I'm cutting face down. So I'm cutting, my die is going down into my plate. I'm going to line it up right on the shimmer sheet. And you can see because of the magnetic platform, nothing moves. Put my do not cut plate on top because that keeps a nice smooth running surface. You always want to have a do not cut plate. One of the plates should always be do not cut because that keeps everything running nice and smooth. And I'm going to send it through. I'm going to go through once and then I'm going to go back because we're cutting mylar. We're cutting a plastic. Pull it off. Now this isn't going to pop out just as easy as the paper did. This is going to take just a little bit of work. Not much, but a little bit. I just need to get it started. And once I start it, I just follow it around. And just follow it all the way around. And it's done. The thing with using shimmer sheets is that the die has to be an open die. There can't be a lot of filigree work or a lot of swirlies. It needs to be nice and open. Yes, even the smallest one will cut the shimmer sheets because it's a very simple open die. So you can use your shimmer sheets when you've got dies that are, they can have curves around them, it's the curves in them, very filigreed. Then you're gonna have a little bit of trouble using the shimmer sheets. You can work on it and there's a metal shim that you may be able to use that will work with it, but I've always found the open dies work better. So I've cut the main flower out. Now I already put one together for you. And there it is. And it's all dimensional. There's pop dots in between each layer, but it's absolutely beautiful. And that's using your stays on and your shimmer sheets. The dies cut like a dream. They truly do. And being that they're only here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, woo! <laughs> They will be on a YouTube yummy and you do want to get your orders in. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. I have got oodles of samples to show you, so I want to show you that really quick because then we're going to move on to stacked art. And one thing about the stays on, with stays on, it comes with this little plastic, uh, little plastic tray here. You're going to want to take pop dots and pop dot that tray into the top of your lid so you never lose that tray. That tray keeps your stays on from drying out. So if you have stays on and you don't have that little tray, next time you buy one, don't throw it away. A lot of people throw away that little clear plastic tray. You see I took foam tape, stuck thick foam tape up in there, and that way I never, ever, ever lose it. So stays on for non-porous, beautiful with your shimmer sheets. Memento will not work with shimmer sheets. Tim Holtz inks will not work with shimmer sheets. You need your stays on. Those are dye-based inks and they will never dry. Okay, so let me show you some samples really quick. And then we're going to move on. Oh, I've got lots of samples. All right. So we've got this one right here with the hydrangea. And Jenny Black did this one with Copics. Isn't that beautiful? And here we have, here's one with the face. Look at how beautiful is that. I told you it comes with that stamp set comes with the face. And just look at how pretty that is. And it was colored very simply, not difficult at all. Here's another sample. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And another. Just a little bit of happiness. 
Stampendous did this one with the face. Yvette did this one. Our Yvette did this one with the hydrangea and colored pencils. Just watercolor pencils. Very simple. We did this one with watercolor pencils too. Very simple. Oh, I told you I had lots of samples. Aren't they beautiful? And they are all exclusive. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. We also have a, oh, wait, there's a few more. This is great for art journaling. Aren't they beautiful? Stampendous sent these samples to us. Yvette did this one. And Stampendous did there. I love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And can you use them for a layout? Absolutely. Mary Lynn put this layout together where we've got the hydrangeas and we've got them with the shimmer sheets. Now the background is not shimmer sheet. We use the shimmer sheet to accent. And you can see the little hydrangea just pops right out so nicely from, I'm gonna try and get the whole thing. There you go. So yes, they're absolutely great for your layouts. All right. So let's move on because now we have got stacked art. Now we did this stacked art for another make and take and stacked art is a really great way to start getting involved in mixed media without getting too far out of your comfort zone. How cute is that? Aren't they darling? We think they're just adorable because Yes, if you're an ATC person, you can use them on your ATCs, but if you're a card person, you can use them on your cards as well. If you're a scrapbooker, we're gonna show you how we put them onto a page. Look at the cards. And it is getting into mixed media, but like I said, not so far out of your comfort zone that you don't wanna give it a try. Mixed media is all the rage right now, and I really love that Stampendous um, brought it to you in a way that's simple and that makes sense. It's almost like geranimals. <laughs> they, I don't even know if they have geranimals anymore, but geranimals, they were clothes and they had tags and if the zebra pants and you found a zebra shirt, you knew they matched. <laughs> <laughs> for kids. <laughs> I had your animals. And so what they did is they named their sets. So this is one of the kits. It's part of the chipboard. It has the chipboard and the stickers and the sayings. But then they matched it up with the stamp sets that go with it. So this one is Royal Heart. This one is Royal Heart. And you know that they coordinate. And so they've done three sets that all match and coordinate. This one is Angel Wings. So here's your stamp set for Angel Wings. And here is all of your chipboard for Angel Wings. So you know that these two match. Last but not least, they did Regal Bird in the stamp set and in the chipboard. Now, once you're comfortable with it, can you mix and match? Absolutely, that's the whole you know, beauty of mixed media is that you, you mix and you match in your colors and your textures. But to get started, if you haven't given mixed media a try, this lets you do it in a very user-friendly way that lets you incorporate it into your cards, your pages, your altered art, however you wanna do it. And I'm gonna show you how. It's pretty darn simple. Now what they've given you in the uh, chipboard kits is chipboard like this. And you get four of these. So you get four little cards like this with the exact same pieces. So you get four of everything, four tags, uh, four of this crown, four of that crown. You also get four of the adhesive sheets. This is an adhesive sheet, and these are kiss cut. So you, there's a little tag here that's got adhesive that we pull back. There's the stars. It matches identical to this. It's hard to see because it's white, but it matches identical to this. You also get 
four of the sentiment sheets, and the sentiment sheets have all of this on there. So you could use the sentiment sheet for tons of different projects, not just for your stacked art, but they've given you a lot to work with. Now with the stamp sets, each stamp set is slightly different, but they give you generally two backgrounds and some accent pieces. And what's really nice about the stamp sets is they give you the block too. So you don't have to try and go find a block that's gonna work perfect if you don't happen to have the Tim Holtz grid block set. You know that when you buy this, the block is included and it's going to fit everything just fine. Love that. <laughs> that so works for me. Now, how does this work? Well, it's pretty darn simple, like I said. You've got pieces of chipboard, you've got pieces of adhesive, and they have got different types of mica and glitter and flocking sold in stack art kits. I wanna say there's five or six of them. Here's one of them, stacked art kits. So it's got all coordinating little yummies, little chip uh, flocking and, and ice crystals and glitter all in there and there are five different sets but the beauty of the stacked art is that if you've already got glitter if you've already got mica use what you've got i mean the adhesive will hold everything if you've got paints we could paint the top of this if you've got um, your microfine elizabeth crafts polished silk glitter you can use this on that if you've got uh, flower soft you can use it on these they're very 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 user friendly now what you do is you start by punching out one of the tags or whichever piece you want to start with now it's up to you if you want to stamp on the front color the front adhesive the front it's all up to you if you want to um, put glitter on the front you would take your tag and you would pull back your little white adhesive, your little white top piece to expose the adhesive sticky. If I wanted to glitter the front of this, I want that adhesive on the front of this piece of chipboard. And there is definitely a front and a back to these chipboard pieces. The front has a slightly beveled edge. The back has a very sharp, crisp edge. That's how you know front and back to die cutting. When the die cuts down through this, it kind of bevels that edge. So if I want to glitter this front, I'm going to add the adhesive to the front. So I'm going to put it face down to that sticky. If I'm going to paint and color this and stamp on it, then I might want the adhesive on the back because I'm going to put it towards uh, on a piece of paper or my layout or whatever it is I'm working on. So, oh, I just got a piece of it. There we go. So I have over here one that is done on the back. So when I peel this off, I'm just gonna peel that back off. I now have my adhesive on the front. And it's ready for me to do whatever I want with. I can take some of my super chunky glitter and just dump it right on and it's going to stick because that adhesive is very sticky brush it off and it's done it's glittered They've made it convenient to get into mixed media, to give it a try. It's glittered. Put that right back in my pot. And peel away. Now I'm gonna wanna give that kind of a really nice little burnish just to make sure all the excess is off. but it's all done. Then I could take my next piece. What do I wanna do next? I could take one of my shields and pop that out. Oh, 
Oh, I've used both my shields. I used all my shields. I guess I won't be doing... Is there a shield on this one? No, I've used all my shields. I guess I'm going to go with a heart. So I'm going to find the heart. It's right here. I'm going to peel that back to expose that sticky. Kind of like we do with our souk wing tape. So I've got the sticky. I'm going to put my heart right down. Now maybe this time um, I'm going to glitter my heart with a fine glitter. Put my heart upside down because I want the front of it to be the sticky. Upside down. Peel it off. And my heart is now ready to be glittered. Now here, we took some of the mica that comes in one of the kits. Now if you're going to use the mica and you just want it in certain places, you need to grab that mica and you need to put it in on your heart or on your background before you glitter. Because once you glitter, then there's nothing for that mica to stick to. So if you take little pieces of your mica, you're going to want to put them down first. And then you can take your glitter. So I've put my mica down. Because if I don't do that first and I put my glitter, there's nothing for the mica to stick to. Then I can take my glitter. Boy, they are very sticky. There's no glue involved at all. No wet glue involved at all. Kind of move it around. Get it all over. Give it a little burnish. And it's done. All done. Ready to be put on. Our tag. Now, we recommend you use souk wang tape or a wet glue. Um, I like souk wang tape best to hold everything in place. You just take your souk wang, peel it off, attach it to the back of your pieces and then press them down really good to get them to stay. I like that better. And you just keep layering. The idea is to stack it up and layer it to make the most adorable little embellishments. Really cute. Now I mentioned they come with stamps. Or you can get the stamp sets. I have got one here. It's just the plain chipboard. In fact, this is a top. I'm, I put the sticky on this one to the back so I could stick it onto a card. So I've got, I would put the sticky right onto the back like I've done here. And I just took a pencil, a colored pencil, and I just colored it. Just to add some color to it. Because then I'm going to stamp on it. So I'm going to take my stamp that comes with the set. And I've got Toffee Crunch here, which is a memento color. And I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I'm going to go right over the top of it. Press up. And now I've added the stamped image. Let me get one that's got a close-up of it. I've got one that's got the stamped image. Here the layout has got where we've colored and just stamped right over the top of it. You could use, as opposed to inking, you could use your Tim Holtz paints 
to go right over the top, let it dry, and then stamp or let it dry and, um, and build off of it. Let me show you a sample where that's what they've done. Where the back has been painted and distressed and stamped on, this piece here has been glittered and then the little birdie has just been colored with your colored pencils and then all layered on top to make a beautiful little card and they've used one of the sayings, each set comes with their own sayings to put right behind. The idea is that you're getting into a, a mixed media forum but it's as simple as ABC because they've put everything in the kits together for you and if you've already got fragments use your fragments if you've got stickers use your stickers this is the time that you really get to play and explore and see if you enjoy mixed media but all the little pieces come together and they all have their own little sticky pieces I could peel this off or I could paint this and then peel it off and put it right to the back of a card So there's my back, there's my front waiting to be stamped or waiting to be painted. I could take something as simple as my Brilliance ink, my gold, the metallic. I could do something just as simple as inking this up to give it a metallic look. Can you see the metallic coming through? It's really sticky. It's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> I could do something just as simple as a metallic look on it. Take my stamp. I've got my stays on right here because it's convenient. Ink it up. And stamp away. I'm on my little stamp mat. Stamp away. Done. And continue to layer. Or just put a cute picture right there. Because I've got the adhesive on the back, it's ready to go right onto a card or onto a layout. They really make it simple. I could take those cute little hearts and put my little hearts on here. It really allows you to be creative, whatever it is you want to do. I recommend that if you think you might like altered art or mixed media, to give these sets a try because they have put everything in one package for you to make it oh so easy. Now, just one thing to keep in mind, I have found that when you are doing, pulling them out, so I've got my little heart, and there's a little heart in here, another little heart adhesive. I have found that it's easier for me to put it there, rub it down, and then pull it off with the adhesive as opposed to trying to press around and pop it out and then pulling. See how I'm pressing it out? Because it's a kiss cut, so it's not die cut all the way through the back. And I find it's easier for me just to put that down there and then peel my heart back and my sticky's ready to go. I'm all ready to go. And I can just put my This one. I can just put my fragments or whatever you have at home right on it. They are they're sticky like soup wing, that's for sure. Cover it right up with my fragments. And my heart is now ready to add a layer to something else. I love how easy that is. 
<laughs> it was really fun. We did it as a make and take. And everybody was like, hmm, this is a little different. But I tell you, everybody had the best time because they got the opportunity to really be creative and really make what they want. And they could see how by taking some of the things they have at home and incorporating it, it's getting another use out of what you've already got. It's getting another use out of your inks. It's getting another use out of your glitters. It's getting another use out of your mica. And because the sets are ready to go, with everything you need, the chipboard, the sticky, the, the sayings, and the stamps coordinate and even come with their own block, you just open and start to play. Pull out your things. And if you don't have any mica, if you don't have any glitter, then they've done that for you as well. They've made sets that coordinate that are easy to use. And in small enough vials, because you use so little, these vials will last you quite some time. <laughs> you don't need to go out and buy a big thing of mica. Trust me, these are gonna last you quite some time. And as you play and as you explore, you learn to mix and match. You might take this stamp set and use it with some of your own chipboard that you've got at home to, to then add layers to. And you can always use your Sook Wang tape to help use and to add the glitter and the mica if for some reason you're using your own chipboard at home and you don't have the little adhesive sheets. Really simple. We had a super good time with them. Now the stamps can also be used on their own. They absolutely can be used on their own. If you love just the stamp sets, I encourage you to get just the stamp sets then if you're not into mixed media because we use the stamp set to make the entire background on this layout. All of this was done with the stamp set. This was done with the stamp set. You can take plain paper, just plain paper, we took plain paper, this sheet right here, and we stamped here and we stamped there just to give it a little bit of oomph. We colored the back piece with a pencil, we stamped on it, and then we just started to stack and layer. Crazy fun. Very um, hands-on, very, very textile because you're playing with all of these different textures that add elements. And um, I just, I, I found them to be very interesting. <laughs> It was out of my comfort zone, so and I enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that you do too. I have got oodles of samples of this to show you too, so let me show you some of this to begin with. Here is, let's start with the layout. Here's the layout page. Again, we stamped all the background. Embossing powder on this one. The little blings, the little words. Really cute. So there's the layout. Now let me grab a bunch because we have got a ton of these. How fun is that? Yes, the stamps come with the little face. You get a couple little faces. This one got made into a card. So you can see how you can take it from here and transform it into a card. Same thing, we stamped the backgrounds. We actually made the backgrounds using paint and stamps. Another. Look at how fun they are. And you really can't go wrong doing them. You can't make a mistake. Got a little tag. I love all the samples. They look so pretty. <laughs> so bright and so happy. Look at the little birdie. How cute is that? Wouldn't that be darling on a page? All done with flocking and fragments and glitters. Let's see, what more do I have? I have just a few more. Just a few more. These two. 
and then again the one we did for the actual make and take. And this is Stacked Art by Stampendous. It's a brand new product for them. So let's recap. Stacked Art, they make it like granimals for you. Everything matches. The chipboard matches the stamp sets. You've got the block that comes with it. You can use your own mica, your own glitters. Uh, you can take your own pencils, your own paints to color them and make them what you want. And what I really love is the packaging also gives you ideas of what you can do. Gives you great ideas of what you can do. So there's three different sets in total with the Stacked Art. And then they also have the Stacked Art Mica. And I believe there's five sets, five sets of Stacked Art Mica. So if you don't have any fun micas and glitters to play with, this is a really nice way to go because it coordinates. Everything in the individual sets coordinates with each other. And yes, they're all going to be on a YouTube Yummy. The Stacked Art will be on a YouTube Yummy. The um, Stacked Art Elements kits will be on a YouTube Yummy. And then let's not forget our exclusive dies and stamps from Stampendous. And this was done by Jenny Black. I showed this on Facebook. This was done by Jenny Black. She framed it. Is it gorgeous? Done with the same flower that we used. Isn't that phenomenal? And those come, there's three sets of those. Let me see if I can pull them over real quick. Three different sets. You've got the hydrangea. And they call that one Hydrangea Garden. Hydrangea Garden. So the hydrangea goes together. You've got Blossom Beauty that goes together, which is the one we worked on today. And you've got Mrs. Lovely Garden. And these are exclusive to SMS, yay, for about the next month. So if you want them, place your order for them. As soon as the YouTube Yummy is over in about 10 days, we're going to pull those orders and we're going to ship them to you. And remember, we did use shimmer sheets with those dies because they are a more open die. They're not so intricate and have a lot of filigree. You can use your more open dies with shimmer sheets to make just lovely things. And what do you need to use on your shimmer sheets when you're stamping? You need to use your stays on ink. All right, I think we're about done. I think I'm gonna tilt up and I'm gonna say, hey everybody, it's me, Stacy. at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Boy, that was a twofer, huh? <laughs> Love Stampendous. Want to send them a huge shout out for getting us all the product early so that we have it to ship immediately as soon as the YouTube yummies are over. Where are you going to find all of these great things? You're going to find them at www, the word shop, the word at sms.com. Shop at sms.com and yes they'll all be on a YouTube yummy for you so get your orders in because there's only so many of those stamps and die sets and gosh we may end up taking them all <laughs> oh what a shame <laughs> all right you guys it's me Stacy I will see you in about 10 days next week bye